you saw from that sneak peek, I'm going to show you today on how you can connect your Philips Hue lighting with any TV that you have to get an experience just like that. Now, I'm gonna use a couple of things. The first one is this Philips Hue HDMI sync box. This comes in about 230 pounds. The next is a Philips Hue gradient light strip for your TV as well. Now this comes in various sizes to match your TV and this one is around 160 pounds. Now a lot of the TVs I've had in the past, I've only had the light strips behind the TV and I've also got a Philips Ambilight TV which has it inbuilt. And don't get me wrong, that is an amazing experience but I wanna take it a little bit further. So I'm gonna add a couple of additional lights here. These are the Philips Signy floor lamps. They come in at 250 pounds each, so they're not cheap. And I'm gonna be setting this up in the two corners of my room, just to the sides of the TV, just to enhance that movie watching experience. Now having all of those lighting effects match whatever you're watching on your TV, or even if you're playing games on your consoles, it's just an experience like no other. And once you do have that, you can't go back. So I'm gonna go ahead and showcase to you guys how to set this up, how to sync it with your Philips Hue bridge, and let's go ahead and see how it performs by giving you some sample video footage. So the first thing to do is just to set up your HDMI sync box, which is very easy. Just plug it into the wall outlet. This one is the HDMI cable that goes directly into your TV. Then you have four HDMI ports that you can use to connect to the sync box. Now the downside of this is that this can only sync the lights to match the videos from a HDMI source. So what this can't do is sync up the lights with the videos in the apps that are inbuilt into your TV. So my LG C10 has a lot of apps that I use inbuilt like Netflix and Disney Plus. I can't use those apps to connect to my Philips Hue lights. I will need to use a separate source via HDMI. So this first one here, I've connected to my Apple TV, which is there. So I can use all the apps on there to sync with the Philips Hue lights. And then this one is connected to my PlayStation 5. So I'll showcase to you guys an example of how gaming looks on that as well. Then you also have options to connect like set top boxes. Maybe you have Sky Q or Virgin Media, anything like that. You can just put it in there and you can even put an Amazon Fire Stick as well and play apps from there. So that's very easy to set up. So you don't need to connect all of your devices to the HDMI ports on your TV. You just connect them to here, which is connected to your TV directly. And then you can switch between them using the Philips Hue Sync app. Next, you just connect the Philips Hue gradient light strip to the back of your TV. You get these very strong 3M sticky connectors that you just connect on the edges and corners. Very easy, just put it into place so that it goes around the top and the sides. And then this is the box that you will connect to the power source to fire up the LED light strip. So I've got all of that in place. This is the one HDMI cable that's going directly into the sync box. Once that's done, you're ready to connect it via the app. So now that the HDMI sync box is connected and the light strip is connected, I would recommend if you have any other additional lights, set them up before you start syncing them through the app. So the Signy floor lamps, I'm gonna set them up in each corner of the room back here. And then I'll go into the app and create an entertainment area to sync them all together with the TV. So let me go ahead, plug those in, and I'll showcase you guys how to do that next. So I've just plugged it in, I've turned them on. I always recommend that you connect it to the Philips Hue bridge first before you connect to the sync box. So let me go ahead and open up the Philips Hue app. So I'm gonna connect these to my kitchen room. So I'm gonna first set up those two new lights. Go to light setup, add light, and then do a search. There you can see at the top, both of the hue color floor one and two have now been picked up and they are connected. So I click on it and I can rename it. So now that I've connected those lights, I'm going to add them to the kitchen. There we go. Just save it and now I have three lights that are connected to the kitchen. The one that's TV, that is from my previous household, so that one is no longer valid. 
but I've also connected the Hue Play gradient lights and I've connected it to this app as well. So all three light sources are now up and running on this app. So the last thing I want to do is now connect the HDMI sync box so I can start streaming the lights in sync with the video that appears on the TV. So you download the Philips Hue Sync app. Now I've already connected this as well, so the box is set up and I just wanted to showcase to you guys how to put it together with all of the lights. Now if you go into settings, you go into entertainment areas. I've connected one at the moment, which is called LG Cinema. So that includes the light behind the TV. And now I'm going to add these two Signe floor lamps. So I select this. Now if I go into lights, I'm going to add the floor lamps. So now there's three lights in this entertainment area. So this one, you'll see, I'll position that to the left and the right of the TV. So you can see they've gone green. Let me go ahead and save this. There we go. And pretty much you can add as many lights as you want and position them all around the room so you can have some behind you to the top of the ceilings, to the corners of the rooms, whatever it may be, to create the most ultimate cinematic lighting experience. HDMI inputs, this is where you can rename the four ports on the back of the sync box. I've only used two of them at the moment. One is for Apple TV and the other one is for my PlayStation 5. So you can do that there. And finally, if you go back to the sync page, this is where you can choose the intensity for the lights and the sync mode as well. You can also adjust the brightness using the slider there. So that's it, it was very easy to do, very easy to set up with the apps. Let me go ahead and turn the light on behind the TV, there we go. I'll just change the color on the corner lamps. Now I'm going to give you guys a showcase of a sample video using an LG demo video which has a lot of vibrant colors to give you the maximum experience of using these lights with the TV that you have. So sit back and enjoy and once you finish this video, after that I'll show you some samples of how it looks when you're playing some games on the PS5. So let's take a look. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. For me, I think that experience is so amazing, especially when you wanna just put on a movie at nighttime and just immerse yourself in that type of lighting experience. The final thing I wanted to show to you is to set up my PS5, play a game, and put this onto game mode on the Hue Sync Box app, and then let's see how that performs.
Okay, so thanks for watching guys. Hopefully you found that review very useful. I'm so impressed with this. It's definitely worth it. And I'm gonna be here for a very long time watching movies on this TV. So I think it's definitely worth buying if you don't have an Ambilight TV. Now it is quite expensive. That's one of the downsides with it. The two floor lamps, as well as the light strip and the Hue sink box in total cost me 830 pounds. So it's not the cheapest thing. For that price, you can actually get a 70 inch Philips Ambilight TV. So it has those cool lights that sync with the video inbuilt into the TV already, and there's no setup necessary. The other downside for this that it's worth mentioning, like I said earlier on in the video, is that it doesn't work with the inbuilt apps of your TV. You have to have a HDMI source for it to sync with the lights. The last downside is that if you do use it with a HDMI source, the sync will not work if you use Dolby Vision or HDR+. So Apple TV, they do have a setting and one of the reasons why it wasn't working when I first tried it is because Dolby Vision was enabled. So I had to disable it for it to sync with the lights. So if you can overlook all of those things, especially the price range, then I think this is an absolute great thing to have for any TV around the house. So if there's anything else you guys wanna know about this set, then make sure you go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'm gonna do some really cool tech videos like this.